Hickman. This morning I'm going to show you how to do color changing when using the tapestry method in crochet. You can see we're building um, some nice buffalo check plaid here and um, the way you do that is, okay, you can see I'm carrying two of the colors because we've got three colors. I'm carrying two across the back which is very easy. You can either carry them along the top or um, just barely behind the very top and it won't show as much but it really doesn't matter too much because it adds um, to the idea that the color is being woven. So we're going to finish this block and what's interesting is we get to our last stitch here and going to pull through that loop and then drop it behind pick up the red before we've even gotten to that red square pull it through and where'd you go gray tidy it up a little and begin the red and you always begin the next color on the last stitch of the previous color and this here I'll show you why looks so much tidier look at that that's that is exactly where that top should be over that one and so this is what you want to do and then here I am carrying it across and it's a lot simpler than you think I thought it was going to be really hard to be carrying threads across the back of my work the yarn but it's not it's really easy and we're going to do it one more time so you can see it and we just make this last stitch three quarters of the way and oh we're moving on to gray we pick up the gray and bring it through and move forward uh oh sorry about that move forward and here we go and then if you want you can pick up that red and just tug it a little so that it's the same height as the other stitches and making sure your other one is even you don't want to pull any of the other threads too tight you want your work to lay flat and um, that's that's how that is done it's just very simple um, and here I'm gonna actually just show you the back of my work I'm not gonna work on it anymore and as you can see, I've carried it through on this um, because the checks are so small. It would not be worth it to have all those tails hanging out, right? And so what you want to do is just carry the thread around. And especially on this one, this is a pot holder. And so um, the carried threads just add to the insulation. And it's, it's going to look great. So I hope that helps you. Um, just repeat this video. If you want to see how to do the color changing again, and uh, really, that's all there is to it. It's super easy. Mm -hmm.